Right, so the jig is now finished and it's been lined up using my little uh, lining tool. Um, now I haven't DTI'd it, I haven't touched it yet, but that's what I meant. This has saved me so much time because this is probably half a meal out, if that. Um, don't pay any attention to this bit here because this is where it's taken a little bit of a bashing when I tried to pull the sleeve and then realize it's actually cast into the block itself. But yeah, and this is how it sits on the faceplate. Um, so that's where I line it up. Um, just gonna lock it up. So this is where I line it this way, both sides. So I can adjust it whichever way I want. That's my collar, which sits on the 25 mil measured bar, and that's the end. Obviously, I didn't even realise I didn't need a collar. I just needed to take a bit of that off, and I've got fixings which allow me to move it around. They're 25 mil this, so I can do this and that. It's um, yeah. Now it's time to start taking the old um, sleeve out. Right, so I've now dialed it in, and there's just it's a little bit out of shape. Do you see the little where it just on the dial indicator, just there. But the rest of it is spot on. So this is how we're on there at the moment. If I move it further in, this is where it's slightly out around. Right, so yeah, ready to machine it. Okay, this is the last part of the video. Uh, not good news, but I'll go through why. So I've cut through the sleeve in three stages or this is literally the sleeve has just uh, fell out on that point. I'm still cutting and you can see there the thickness of the sleeve. This sleeve is five mil thick, has a five mil wall, sorry. So that's where I am at the moment. Um, I'll show you my problem. Okay, this is the new liner sleeve. All I've done is literally machine enough of the material out that the ductile sleeve just fell out. So I haven't, this is literally just uh, behind the wall of the sleeve. And you can probably just about see that on, because I've done this in three steps, this step, that one, and I haven't touched that back bit yet. My problem is nowhere near so it means that this sleeve is no good for that but it also means that this sleeve because it has got such a um, heavy wall thickness or that I can machine out to the uh, desired diameter for the piston and still be thicker than this one because this is um, a three mil wall thickness and it measures something like 74 mil or 74.5 or something so it means I still have to machine more and have less wall thickness than I would have here if I just machine this one unfortunately it means that I've got to do a new block but optimistically it means I haven't got a muck about with any of this try and get this sleeve out trying to pull it out trying to then uh, machine this out, heat it up, slip another sleeve in, then machine this one, making sure it's all dead straight. Because I'm going to work from a fresh block that I know that the sleeve is thick enough that I can machine for a 76mm piston, 
I'm saying it's going to make my life a lot easier. I've obviously got to machine a new block and weld the braces on a new block, but I'm happy to do that because the end result is a better result because it's less less of me mucking about with stuff. Um, all I've got to do is bore this out to 76 mil, well, bore it out to 75.6, and then grind it with grinding stones, uh, get me cross hatch, etc. The biggest amount of work, or the most work involved, was doing this. That jig took for took ages. So at least it means now that the idea was that if there was a mistake or any problems, this is the easy bit. That was the hard bit, this bit. I just got to get a new block. Um, I'm not sure in the UK if I can actually just get a new block or I might buy, have to buy a whole new engine. But whole new engine is only 150 quid. So it's not a biggie. I'll see if I can sell a couple of bits off eBay just to ease it off a bit because this is my now my second engine. Anyway, so we're going to have to hold off for a little while because I've got to decide what I'm going to do. Oh, uh, sorry, yeah. Looked on the UK uh, for a new sleeve. They do a 75mm sleeve ID for a 76mm bore. Unfortunately, I've measured this across, and this is um, 80.2, and the outside diameter of a sleeve from the UK is 79.993. So what it means is it doesn't matter what I do, to get this one out, to get to this stage, the whole lot's going to be too big. So it means that it doesn't matter what I do, it's not going to work. So, new block. Okay, cheers.